Right, the high jump is just about to get underway. Championship record dates from 2006, 12 years ago. Andre Silnov going over 2 meters 36. And there you can see them all resplendent, waiting to be presented. Maxim Nedaskov of Belarus, the European under-20 champion last year. The defending champion from Italy, Gianmarco Tamberi. One of the favourites and certainly a home crowd favourite, Matias Prisbilko. Getting huge roars. The German champion set a season's best of 2.31 in Nuremberg, completing the 12-man lineup. Ilya Ivanyuk from Russia, competing as an authorised neutral athlete. Well, the bars moved up to 2.24, and this is the European under-20 champion, Maxim Nedasakov. First attempt at 2.24. Jump 233 in that magnificent contest in Grosseto last year. And that shows the form that took him over 233. Well, Nadasakov has been over 232 this year, so he's in good shape. Nicely done for the Belarus jumper. He's also straight over his earlier height of 219, as you can see from the scorecard. Now it's the German champion, Matthias Prisbilko. One of the few athletes who did look good in qualifying, soaring clearances, and that's another one, 2.24. But 11 men still in this contest. Plenty of height there for the German who literally goes through a 360-degree circle after he's cleared the bar. His rotation takes him all the way around a full circle. Now Ivanyuk, European under-23 champion in 2015, proved to 230 recently at a meeting in Poland. Nicely over for the Russian, competing here as an authorised neutral athlete. So three men clear with their first attempts at 2 metres 24. Congratulations from the Belarusian. In the high jump, the remaining eight men in this competition after those three first round clearances all failed their first round clearances. This is the defending European champion, Gianmarco Tamberi. Second attempt at 2 meters 24. And he's back to something like his best. Back in 2016, shortly after winning the European title, he went over 239. And then tragically at that Monaco meeting ruptured his ligaments when uh, while attempting 241 he would have been the prohibitive favorite for the Olympic title instead he flew to Rio and cried his eyes out in the stands just watching what might have been well that's looking good going over to have a quick chat with his father Marco Tamberi now it's the Turk Alperin Asset good jump indeed for the Turk Plagues of height, just tickled the bar as he went over, but there's plenty of plenty more to come from this young Turk who was fourth at last year's terrific World European Under-20 contest in Grosseto, won by a man we've already seen, Ned Askov. Well, while we were being thrilled by the women's 200 metres final, there's three field events finals still going on. This is the men's high jump and this is Andre Protsenko. This was recorded a few minutes ago. This is his second attempt at 2.24. And the 2014 silver medalist goes clear to join the three men who got over with their first attempts. Back in 2004, he went over 240. Not quite in that sort of form. 
nevertheless. Protsenko makes his mark and he'll be in the competition when the bar goes up to 228. So 224 for Sylvester Bednarak, the reigning European indoor champion from Belgrade last year. Third and final attempt at 224 for the pole. As we've said on several occasions, Poland having a terrific championship. Bednarak struggling a little bit, but he's over and very well over 224. But it did take him three attempts. So he joins Ivanjo, Prisbilko, Tamberi, Nesakov, Asset, and Protsenko. They're the seven men who are clear at 224. And the bar will rise to 228. Just a touch with the back of his thighs there. Being roared on by some of his Polish teammates and the coaching staff. And a big hug from Gianmarco Tamberi. He's had many competitions over the years, even going back to the under-23 ranks with Tamberi. So the defending European champion, Gianmarco Tamberi, Focusing on this competition this year, trying to defend his title. Well, bags of height, gets it touch with his ankles, but he's over at the first time of asking at 2.28. That's a season's best for the Italian. <laughs> Who's a very familiar figure on the international circuit with that half-shaven beard of his. Quite a character. Now the German champion, Matthias Prisbilko. Whoa, great jump there at 2.28 for the German. That was a flying clearance. Many people's favourite, especially on home soil, being cheered on by many of the 55,000 capacity crowd here in this Berlin Olympic Stadium. Congratulations for his coach there. So Tamperi and Prisbilko over 2.28 at the first time of asking. Now it's the turn of Ilya Ivanyuk. Well, no failures so far for the Russian. And he's clear there as well. Nicely done. That was a very, very good jump technically. Very smooth indeed, everything just fell into place. Well, we can see there, just got a glimpse of him, the Russian head coach, Yuri Borzakovsky, former European world champion himself, and Olympic champion. Uh, but not at the high jump, 800 metres. Young talent, cleared to compete as an authorised neutral athlete. Maxim Nedaskov, well, he passed his final attempt at 2.28. Very similar to what happened in Grosseto last year. He was behind and then produced clutch jumps at heights, and he's done it again, 2.31. First man over this height. There's four men still in this competition at 2.28. We lost Asset, Protsenko and Bednarak. Let's have a look at this again, just one centimetre shy of his season's best. Two centimetres shy of his personal best setting, Grosetto. Now Gianmarco Tamberi, 2.31. No, never really got in the air. Still to come, Ivanyuk and Prisbilko at 2.31. Those are the four men still in this competition.
So that's his father, Marco Tamberi, a 1980 Olympic finalist. He also coaches a number of the top Italians, including Alessio Trost, who was in the women's final. Now the German champion, Matthias Prisbilko. Oh, a very fine jump indeed. Bags of daylight there for the German. His Bilko equals his season's best. Last year he went over 235. Well, if the bar had been at 235, that would have probably been a clearance as well. Very nice jump indeed from the German, clearly inspired by performing in front of his home crowd. So that puts Prisbilko into the lead. He's had a flawless competition so far. Now Ivan Yuk, and he's over as well. So Ivan Yuk gets a share of the lead. No failures for the Russian either. He's jumping so well indeed. That's a personal best for Ivan Yuk. Although he's a little bit emotionless. <laughs> Just encouraging the crowd to get behind him. Now, Nedaskov of Belarus got that clutch jump at 2.31, now attempting 2.33. Oh, and he's clear, he equals his personal best. Will that be the gold medal jump? He is such a talent, this Belarus athlete. European under-20 champion when he really pulled it out with a series of last gasp efforts that went clear and now first attempt at 2.33 to take the lead and he was in trouble at 2.28 but has come good at 2.31 and 2.33 now matches Prisbilko Flies clear. What a marvellous jump from the German. Bags of height there. Yes, he tickled the bar. But there's still more to come, I think, from the German. And he is really, really enjoying competing in front of the home crowd. Rarely will he have competed in front of such an audience. Now he takes the lead back. Now Gianmarco Tamberi passed his final two attempts at 2.31. Failed his first attempt at 2.33. Clear and he's still in the competition. Out and he's out of the medals. And the defending champion will not be on the podium on this occasion. Gianmarco Tamberi finishes fourth. Well, with that failure, we now know who the medals are, but we still don't know the order. And we've got two men clear at 2.33. Prisbilko, flawless record. Nedasako has failures earlier in the competition. But still, Ilya Ivanyok to jump. The high jump is now reaching a climax. This man's guaranteed a medal, but it'll be bronze if he fails. Well, he's on the podium. Ilya Ivanyuk got a personal best at 2.31. He's a happy man. Personal best and a bronze medal for the Russian. But he brought the bar down at the third time of asking at 2.33. But Prisbilko of Germany and Nedasakov of Belarus are over. And they will be in the competition when the bar goes up to 2.35. Nevertheless, good jumping. I think he's very happy with that performance. I think he would have taken a bronze if you'd have said, you'll get third place tonight. Now, Matthias Prisbilko, he's had some flying clearances at the earlier heights. First attempt at 2.35. This would equal his personal best from last year. And what a magnificent jump. Yet another soaring clearance for the German. 2 meters 35 equals his personal best. 
And could it be the gold medal jump? Well, Nedasakov. I can tell you, Nedasakov failed his first attempt because he was jumping before Prisbilko. Well, just tickles it a couple of times with both his backside and his ankles, but it stays up just the merest of touches. He's having a fantastic competition. One of those athletes coming here, which you wouldn't have said he was a favourite, certainly in contention, but just like Kristen Hussong in the javelin last night has really risen to the occasion. Now, Nedasakov's second attempt, no, brings the bar down. Is this a bar too high? Well, he's got one more attempt, has the young Belarusian. And Spilko looks like he can't believe it. He's got a completely flawless scorecard and he's just looking up in the crowd and absolutely stunned by his own performance. Well, he's literally and metaphorically in the form of his life. He's just equaled his personal best and he's been getting big, big clearances. His torso is well over the bar. Well, the bar's now gone up to 237. He passed his last attempt at 235 in an effort to try and snatch the gold away from Matias Prisbilko. This is Maxim Nedasakov. No, not to be on this occasion. It was a good tactic because he's guaranteed the silver, but goal goes to this man, Matias Prisbilko. Now what's he going to do? He can choose to jump at this height. German record outdoors is 237. It's been on the book since the 1980s to Carlo Tranhart. Well, we've been seeing some great clearances from Prisbilko. I fancy he might actually even just ask for the bar, which is he's right now that he's the winner just to be cranked up to possibly a German record of 2.38 or more. Well, gets big hugs from Berlino. Just wondering whether he will jump again. I think he's done. Well, the emotion perhaps is spent. You could tell there when he cleared that last bar, he was just emotionally so overwhelmed I'm not surprised he doesn't want to take another attempt he might hurt himself we don't know whether he is or he isn't going to take an attempt just yet he's still I think going to be in discussions with the judges there you can see the judges asking him what he wants to do Berlino giving him a bit of advice as well Anyway, a big shout out though for Nedasakov, equaling his personal best. Oh. So, indeed, he didn't take another attempt. Matthias Brisbilko wins, equaling his personal best of 235.